Hello everyone, my name is Leon Dockney and welcome back to now the top. Today we're doing top five best location in Fallout 4. Not like I mean like best best settlement areas to be like the area which settlement is the best or more popular. Something to suggest uh, my opinion. Or there's something that I will probably cooked up at the time I'm doing this video. But pretty much I am still working on I've decided not to do Red Rocket at the moment. I might do something else. But I'm working on some summons right now. I'm working on some. Some is gonna be difficult to end it will be take a while to finish up. But don't worry about it. And uh, I also uh, in this video you will see some mods in the video and I might be too bit cheating as well. But the cheating is alright. Because I'm not actually doing anything, I'm just filling you around. Because I have a save uh, I can go back to and when all of this is done. That's pretty much how I'm going to do in this video. But pretty much you, um, you will see some locations you might like turn into and be creative. Because you can do whatever the hell you want and fall out over. Depend on the limitation, but there are mods out there you can say fuck the limits pretty much. And this pass through that damn limit and boom break the <laughs> and breaking your game in the progress and oh boy that is a not a fun time to um suggest to breaking your game pretty much but understandably uh this is going to be um something unique i might do some more fallout 4 videos on the channel uh besides doing the sim itself uh, in the future, or maybe in different Fallout fields as well. But in case, uh, I think we better get started. We're almost near the end of this part. But anyways, let's get started, shall we? <laughs> yeah. So uh, coming out number five, um, we have Sanctuary's Hills. Uh, coming out uh, Sanctuary Hills is where. Uh, where everyone mostly starts at. Pretty much I included at number 5. Cool, because this is where everyone begins. Where the soul survivor home, home is begin. Before the war. Before the great war happened. This is his ELC home. Depending on who, who you choose. But pretty much this is a nice. Um, nice location. I will admit. You can turn this into your own personal city. Your own. Or oh, probably a small town of course. You want to do that. Um, well, I like to turn this place into a huge, you dig this, um, like, salmon city for people to come and live, of course. But I'm still working on it in the progress because I have not have anything, uh, every house fixed, not anything idea proper yet. I'm still working in the progress, so, uh, I will let you know when it will be done over time. Um, yeah, it's probably done. Um, don't know when it's going to be done. Yeah, that's something I'm going to do. I don't know when. I might do side projects and say before Sanctuary Hills. But this is yeah, something to do. And you can be creative how much you want. You can be ridiculous or probably real. This is how a apocalypse um, may look like. It's up to you pretty much what it's going to be like. Because the... Uh, there are some stuff you might need to get rid of, so you want to get some mods for these builds. It's like removing damn plants, moving stuff that is not like removable. And you you want to probably expand the border a little bit. Um, just be careful whether you expand the border or spawn markets where like enemies will attack your settlement. So, um, make sure you have extra heavy firepower to do so. Uh, in the in the cement, of course. Uh, that's something to be said and done, of course. And getting settlement settlers in the city, in the, your own settlement is gonna be difficult. You can have your settlement to be cool begin, but that's only get a handful. No, like a glitch out there, export the Fallout Four thing, like the automaton glitch, where you can get more of the lot settlers into your settlement, and that's something to do. That's uh, something I will probably recommend getting uh, get more salmon services. But yeah, this is a nice um place to build. You know 
own apocalypse uh, coming something. at number four we got vault 88 and this one is coming with the uh it's a dlc from the vault tech dlc uh pretty much so um with this you can there's a lot of levels in this vault um you got this like sectors that got to clear out before you completely um renovate this vault into your own personal thing there's a lot of Enemies in the vaults, so you gotta make sure you after you clear the sectors, you gotta clear out the enemy. Um, there are two attack points in this vault. Wait, no, three, no, three. I remember three. Yeah, there's one somewhere in the uh building up there, one in the subway, and the one is facing the entrance of the vault. And um, pretty much, um, there's um, you also gotta complete the uh, crest with this as well. Uh, you agree if you want to keep. Like all these, the original settlers that came in here, like the free came in and the overseer. This is what I try to do. And also, you get some new items in your, um, well, your build menu pretty much. Uh, new stuff, new furniture or equipment you can use in your settlements as well. But yeah, this place, you can be very creative with this place. You can turn what? Vault 88 into something everyone. Well, and first off, you can turn this into an actual living vault. Now, so when people do that before, and yeah, that's something nice to do, like turn it into like a regular vault, like regional, regional Fallout 4 style vault, or you can turn them into pretty much uh, Fallout 3 style vaults, or any kind of vault you want to be. Um, because that's something up to the player if they want a vault tech style vault and there is stuff in the build menu salmon build menu to do that oh sorry i meant the workshop i i truly completely forgot what it actually be called but the workshop menu or yeah something like that or the build workshop whatever it's called at the time but um yeah or you can turn this into a, like a underground city that's something it is to be fair, you need some a lot of mods for this vault. Like, if you want the ceiling, you want a giant ceiling. Um, there's a mod for, I believe it's Vault AA expansion or improvement in this, um, in this part. But pretty much so, I'm just showing you what it looked like just before. Just a bunch of one down stuff. And a bunch of fail goes into the vault, and you gotta clear them out. Pretty much so. Just a couple growing ones in this beginning part, but if you go down further, there will be more creatures such as rat scorpions, mire looks, one death crawl, more rats, probably rat roaches, and probably more fell rules as well because I believe so there are in this vault as well as ten. But I digress. You, uh, if you want to. Have more ceilings, there's a mod for that. Like that ceiling I saw you, you can make it even more higher and you can build up top. But I like the ceiling like now. But coming in at number three, we have the castle. The castle here is something something unique and very actually um, interesting. You can turn this into a fortress of your own kind or like your own personal settlement. But I will put make it into a why what it actually is is a goddamn fortress for the Minutemen and also or oh, depend which facts you in you can turn this into your or oh, like a Brotherhood Steel Fortress for the uh, Brotherhood of Steel <laughs> of course. Or if you side with the Institute, you can turn this into a tech tree fortress with the synths involved as well. Well it would depend which uh, in game facts and you side with. You can turn with it, but mostly this is used by the Minutemen. And you can turn this into what kind of fort you want, like a super death fortress, or just a simple apocalypse fortress for these guys. Um, with like you can build. I think there's no, no, I think there's no. Yeah, there's mods out there with uh, like pads for um, the little bird stuff. I believe, yeah, in the um, workshop menu, if you have the mods, of course. Because you always need some like um. Let's see, yeah, pretty much mods. Because you are, there are some problems with the game in base game. There are some hiccups you are going to hit. 
So I recommend to get like slash the menu, slash like slash the um the lemon bar on top, so you can build even more more out there as well. And that's something that I will take into account for it because that's something I will use because geez, I want to build something unique and and cause a lot of framework to be going down a lot. <laughs> that's something I will do. Oh yeah, this is a unique place. Um, the more major problem with it is the gaping giant holes, like the on the walls you can see right there. So you probably want to fix that up. Um, with pretty much with scrap you have at the time, I'm pretty sure you need to do that. And that's something to can't take account for if you want to turn this into a fortress. Make sure you have these big huge entrance covered. So enemies will come in the vault. The, I mean, not in the vault. I mean, the castle. But there's only one spawn point for the enemies. And that's it. It's just the one side. Not with the big hole. Just with a gate involved. But in, in during crash spoilers. Enemies do come in. Like like the entity will spawn in. From the real light. And also the Brotherhood of Steel will come on there. Very good if you take them out. Take them down as well. But that's something for you to decide if you want to put defense all around the uh, castle. And that's something up to you to do so. So that is the castle and I believe right up next will be number two. Um, number two is a not a unique location but I can think you can make a creativity with it as well. Something creative. With all of these you can like all these builds, cements, you can turn them in whatever creativity mind you have. So of them. So coming in, we have the King uh Kingport Lighthouse. And for my idea, um before you come here there will be a bunch of children to add in here. So I recommend to quill them out as you can. Because there are a nuisance bunch in the game. Pretty much so with like damn gamma guns and preaching oh hell of Adam hey join Adam and Blaze. But pretty much so this is a kinda of unique place with a something unique twist up top of the lighthouse because I found out it's interesting and I probably will keep it in my uh in my gameplay. But I will probably keep it as well if I get like a PC version of for out four. So I can do my cement builds on there with more things, with more, more um, room to with mods. But there is a growing one, fell grow, growing one in the lighthouse that makes it so it's lit up. Um, it's kept inside barge, but you can kill it if you want to. But that is up to you if you want to have like a full function lighthouse. But you can turn this into your personal navy dock. Or like a bow in your art or sipping thing. I saw one guy turn this into like a uh, a port where you can do immigration stuff. And uh, like people coming from the castle, capital wasteland, for harbor, or wherever coming from. All pretty much so with boats. And you can make like scrap boats I would call them. Like boats you can turn into um... Scrap boats or junk boats. I don't know what you call boat like a thing in full help. Just like or just regular boats in general because there are mods you can have boats and you put on but they're pretty hard to goddamn move if they're not placed down. But yeah you can turn this in your own personal live dock and build your own boats. And um yeah this place is kind of unique in a way. I kind of like it but um, locks might be new in some repair. I will recommend do that because they're leaning down towards the water. And um, the boundary line, I think, I don't know with the attack spawn, I don't usually build here a lot. But the boundary line is kind of sort. I recommend get a standing mod so it will not be sort in the water if you want to build out further in the dark zone. But that's something up to you if you want to get that mod. But that's something to do. And as well, but I do recommend uh, make sure you don't uh, cause a problem in the game with your game console players out there and also PC players. Make sure you read the mod description of the mod so 
it won't won't crash your game or break your game when you download these mods. That's something um a tip for you guys out there not to do. Make sure you be careful with doing modding because it will cause problems and something like Fallout 4 and Skyrim it is a nightmare to do with modding on that console. So right now this is our final final settlement, the Red Rocket, and this is you can turn this into your own personal player home if you want to. This is something it's like okay, you can turn this into a personal family, you can turn it into a power garage, a little outpost, like a settlement outpost nearby Sanctuary Hill. This is not too far from Sanctuary Hill or Concord whatsoever. But I kinda like a spot, but there is a random chance of mole rats coming out um when you meet dog uh, dog meat and there is a mole rat den nearby. So you might clear them out before they pop out of the ground, I think. But that's uh, something to do, and last um, uh, you can turn this into yeah, like a personal home. You can uh, make walls around this area. But over here is the mole rat den. Uh, you want to clear out as well before like mole rats decide to come up and ruin some of your day. But that mole rats are kind of easy to take care of and handle a little bit, so that will not phase you a little bit. Um, if you have mods. Install. I believe there's some stuff on top of the roof. I will show you in a little bit. But you can build stuff on top of the roof as well. Like you can build like stairs or ladders. They'll easily go on top as well. But if you have mods installed and you see a bunch of that, I don't know if this, this has come in base game or just mods in general. I believe these are mods with location thing. I believe so. I don't know which mod. It come with maybe an expanded mod or some sediment mod involved. I believe so. So you see this, this is come with a mod. That's not in base game. So just letting you know, that's normal, perfectly normal. But now we're coming right to the end of the video. Um, thank you all for watching this video. I uh, hope you enjoy this much of Fallout 4. Where, where it's the best sediment of, I don't know what I'm going to call the title. Uh, if wherever it is, it's gonna be is down below in the title. Something settlement thing. But I hope you enjoyed this video today uh, and I hope you like it as well. Uh hit that like button down below if you enjoyed it. If you're new to the channel, if you wanna see more, hit that subscribe button down below. And also make sure you hit that bell notification. You know YouTube is terrible over that. Not letting uh, like small channels or big channels know. That bell notification is screwed up and the algorithm is also kinda of fucked up as well. So yeah, this is uh, something you will enjoy. I will personally think you all are watching this truly because my voice is terrible and sound like Mr. Macri from South Park. Okay. It sound like this. Okay. But I personally hope you enjoy this video. Uh, thank you guys all watching today. Uh, something something uh, I appreciate you guys watching. Uh, if you want more videos like these, let me know. Uh, more Fallout video, Fallout 4 videos, or like different topics on it as well, similar like Ark. Uh, like I do like top 5 this, top 4 that. But anyways, I hope you enjoyed the video. Personally I did. I will see y'all next time. Bye bye!